and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host, Miss Rebecca Jane Folgate, and today we are getting, well, I guess we're getting freaky, which, you know, makes sense. We are talking about the top 10 scary animal mutations, and honestly, I'm kind of torn between being a little bit scared, but also really, really, really sad for some of these beautiful creatures. Before we get into this video, why don't you guys let me know what your favourite animal is in the comment section down below? Mine is absolutely a dog because dogs are so great! Although, if I was going to be getting exotic with things, I would have to say elephant. A further question to you what animal do you think that I would be if I was an animal? Although I am an animal because I'm a human, but you know what I mean! Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you want to find out more about our sources, then check out the links in the description box where you'll also find links to our most amazing Instagrams. Please leave a thumbs up, and if you aren't yet part of our most amazing family, join now! Coming in at number 10, we have the fang headed mountain lion. In November 2016, images of a dead mountain lion with fangs and whiskers growing out of the back of its head surfaced online. Sadly, this lion was killed by a hunter in southeastern Idaho, which I guess you know how I feel about that kind of thing. Anyway, an image of the lion was sent to the Idaho Fish and Game Southeast Regional Office. Now, this was in Pocatello. Am I saying that right? Let me know. These guys were not able to identify the deformity. Reportedly, they were baffled. Biologist Zach Lockyer said, It's a bizarre situation and a bizarre photo. I'm honestly sad that a hunter killed this animal, but at the same time, a double fanged lion? Terrifying. Coming into number nine, we have glow in the dark cats. It may sound like science fiction, but it isn't. In 2011, scientists generated mutant glow in the dark cats. I like cats, but I've read repeatedly, and I may add that cats officially meet the definition of psychopaths. I've read that if they were any bigger than they currently are, they would kill you. So, not so cute now. I'm not sure if cats glowing in the dark makes things any better. I have to say, if I saw one, I would be terrified or assume that I was drunk. Scientists genetically modified the cats, inserting one gene into them, a version of a green fluorescent protein that light up crystal jellyfish. Why? Well, actually, there's a really, really good reason. Apparently, it helps them resist feline AIDS, which I've just discovered is a thing. The GFP protein is found in jellyfish, and scientists use it in cats to make it easy to spot the altered genes and help scientists study HIV. So, scary as it may be, it's actually a really, really good thing. Though in the dark cats, though, I don't know. I need your opinion on this. Let me know in the comment section down below. Ah ha ha! I don't like this at number eight. We have the three eyed snake. Forget the three eyed raven. This three eyed snake is here and spreading fear in the Australian outback. Nicknamed Monty Python for the lols, I would not be laughing if I met this beast. Pythons scare me at the best of times, but pythons with three eyes? Boy, bye. This snake was found on a highway in, legitimately, the remote Australian town of Humpty Doo, which actually is the best town name that I have ever heard ever, and I would deeply consider moving there if it weren't for the three eyed snakes. Bummer. At the time, Monty, no, the cute name does not help. At the time Monty was discovered in March 2018, he was thought to be a baby and measured just half a meter. I say just, that's half a meter more snake than I can deal with. Now, well, I bet that he's bigger. It is thought that the reason for the deformity is, delightfully, a twin absorbed by Monty in the womb. That <laughs> snake womb. No! This discovery was made by Northern Territory Parks and Wildlife Rangers, so unfortunately, it is definitely legit. Suffice to say, he sees you. There's always time for a dad joke, and don't even at me. So it seems that this isn't a one time only thing. Coming in at number seven, we have a two headed shark. Shout out to my friend Mingles, who absolutely loves a shark. Like, babe, how do you feel about a two header? I need to know. It seems in 2016, the Beeb reported that a two headed shark embryo had been found, which, well, I mean, a two headed shark sounds like the plot for Sharknado 7 or Jaws 2027. Two heads! Honestly, horrifying. Scarily, shortly after that story broke, National Geographic, something I consider a trusted news source, published an article declaring that. Actually, they have been turning up worldwide, which is pretty freaking terrifying, am I right? It seems that blue sharks are most likely to have a mutant baby because they carry so many babies at a time. Double headed sharks. I will see you a two headed shark and raise you a two headed alligator. I need both hands to do this, so. 
That's right, number six, two-headed alligators. Holy moly, I cannot deal with a one-headed alligator, let alone two. This is much worse than a two-headed shark in my opinion, because I feel like alligators are more prominent in our human living areas than sharks are. Like with sharks, I mean, we're kind of in their territory when we're in the ocean, right? But alligators kind of have to share. In 2014, a two-headed gator was allegedly spotted in Tampa in Florida. It was spotted by a man named Justin Arnold who posted the images to social media, after which they were shared thousands of times by freaked out people. On Facebook, Arnold said that the gator had been reported by several people to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. A lot of people were dubious as to the authenticity, calling the image a hoax. I honestly really hope it is. The next animal is an urban legend rather than a fact, but if it is real, well that's terrifying. Coming into number 5, we have the meat slabs. In early 2000s, rumours started flying around the internet that McDonald's meat was made from genetically modified cow mutants, grown specifically to be burger food in a secret lab somewhere. The original source seems to be from a fake email uncovered in Brazil. The email said that the people who had seen the creatures reared in the lab were absolutely horrified, as like you obviously would be, right? They said that the mutants had no limbs, bones, horns or fur, that their heads were the size of a baseball, and that they were fed through tubes directly to the stomach. Meat slabs. Grim. The email also stated that those who eat this meat are at the risk of catching a disease akin to AIDS and Alzheimer's. What on earth? Honestly, that's when they lost me. Like, eat this meat and you'll get AIDS? I don't agree. I think this is fake. Still though, scary. Coming into number four, we have the leaf rat. A farmer in the Ratlam district of India found a rat with a soya bean plant growing out of its body on his land, which I imagine was a sight to behold. Farmer Datar Singh said that his neighbours filmed the mutant rat. Now the footage is pretty shocking and really really sad because the rat seems to be struggling with its deformity. That's just a warning for you before I show you the footage. The plant growing in its back is really big and the rat is probably in a whole lot of pain. That pain is only going to continue to increase as the plant grows. So I guess you're wondering how did this happen, right? The best explanation is that a soybean seed must have fallen into an open wound in the rat's body and it then found the right conditions to grow. Horrifying. As the plant grew, it meant that the wound in the rat was unable to heal, leaving it constantly exposed, which makes me feel sick and sad at the very same time. Ooh. Coming into number three, we have the Fukushima fish. The Fukushima power plant accident took place in May 2011, during which a nuclear power plant spilled radioactive material into the North Pacific Ocean. Fast forward four years, and this beast was pulled out of the water near where the disaster took place. If that isn't a mutant fish, honestly, I don't know what it is. Honey looks prehistoric to me. Honestly, I just made that up. I feel like that might be my new favourite insult. Like, lol, you look prehistoric. I'm actually honestly not mean enough to say that to anyone, but I can think it. Maybe. No. It's too mean to even think, but a good, a good insult that you can have for free. Anyway, Japanese fisherman Hiroshaka Hiroshi tweeted an image of himself with the fish, which he explained to be a massive wolf fish double its size. Coming into number two, we have the beast. Have a look at this image and tell me what on earth you think this creature is. Or, uh, I don't know, is that claws? Cloven hooves? I'll give you a second to make up your mind. Done it? Good? So it seems that this poor creature was a lamb, and it was promptly and creatively dubbed the Devil Lamb after it was born. This story goes that in 2017, in a South African village, inhabitants were shocked and disturbed by the birth of a human looking lamb. Villagers were convinced that either bestiality or witchcraft were at play when the human looking lamb was birthed, although sadly the creature was stillborn. DNA samples confirmed that the creature was indeed a lamb, even though other people had other theories. Many locals were convinced that the dead sheep was the work of the devil and a bad omen of things to come. Devil. Finally coming into number one, we have the animals of Chernobyl. This is actually so sad. Following the infamous Chernobyl disaster of 1986, a lot of animals were born with serious mutations. Chernobyl and the towns of Pripyat are still exclusion zones, meaning you can't go there, but obviously it's pretty hard to stop wild animals roaming. In the immediate fallout, farm animals produced seriously deformed offspring, such as this cow. Here is a lamb also reportedly from Chernobyl. Concerningly, there is now talk that Chernobyl wild wolves could be spreading mutations across Europe, which is, you know, worrying. 
to say the least. So guys that was the top 10 scary animal mutations. Which of these did you think was the scariest? Are you scared or are you sad or are you like me? Just a little bit of both. Before I go I'm just going to read some comments from a collaboration I did. It was the top 10 funniest pictures you have to look at twice. Which was a trio of joy. It was Landon, Shay and I and you guys seem to love it. TMB clan said, did you know that you can't breathe while smiling? Try it. I think you can. Like, I'm breathing and I'm smiling. Oh, okay. I just read the end of that comment and they said joke. I just wanted to make you smile. Good. Great. But you forced it out of me. You tricked it out of me, which doesn't count. Although, I'm just happy anyway. Yay. Smiles for you. You don't have to trick me. Lizzie Ann said, hands down, Rebecca, you are queen for a reason. Art school wankers sealed it. You're welcome. Dawn Ledbetter said, So I never noticed how much of an accent that the Slytherin Queen has until hearing her talk with Che. I love it. Do you know what I love, Storm Ledbetter? I love the amount of you that call me Slytherin Queen because you've just accepted it as my title and I'm here for it, even though I'm kind of scared of snakes. Good. I've got some things to think about. Let me know your favourite animal in the comments section down below and don't forget to let me know what animal you think I would be. I think I'd be something, I don't know, cute but fangy. Is that a thing? Good. Once again, if you haven't yet joined our most amazing family, we are poised to hit 6 million. So why don't you hit that subscribe button now and get in before 10 million and win a badge. <clears throat> you won't actually win a badge, but I'll love you forever. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye.